And we begin this afternoon with the road to reopening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. Governor Gretchen Whitmer talking to 7 Action News, laying out her expectations of when we could hit those vaccination goals to lift restrictions. So let's take a look at where things stand today. On the governor's four-step plan to remove requirements, we're still waiting for today's updated numbers, but as of yesterday, 50.6% of Michiganders have had at least one shot of the coronavirus vaccine. At 55%, the governor will ease the work from home when feasible requirement. Vaccines helping push down the number of new COVID infections in the state. Today, 2,500 new cases were announced along with 42 additional deaths. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykett spoke with Governor Whitmer one-on-one -on -one to find out when we could start reaching those milestones and what happens if we never reach some of them. The governor says she hopes to achieve the next milestone in vaccination rates in Michigan in the next seven to 10 days. But in order for that to happen, she says every vaccine shot must be counted. In the last couple of days, the Michigan vaccination rate has only gone up by tenths of a percent. When do you anticipate to hit your first benchmark of 55 percent? And what will you ultimately do if we don't achieve 70 percent for herd immunity? Well, we're hopeful to hit this in the coming seven to 10 days. We know that there's more than 10,000 shots performed yesterday, but we also expected um, the, the supply to eclipse demand. Addressing the lack of progress this week in improving our state's vaccination rates, Governor Gretchen Whitmer is choosing to focus on goals rather than answering the question of what happens if 70% herd immunity is not achieved. What's your greatest fear at this point? Well, I mean, I, certainly this is a, a virus that um, can come roaring back if we let our guard down. We know that in India, for instance, there is so much community spread that the virus continues to mutate. Countless local businesses are still subject to restrictions, and it's a situation some Metro Detroiters don't agree with when those same businesses have no control over who chooses not to get a shot. Do you feel there's a plan if we don't get to herd immunity? Well, if there's a plan that hasn't been revealed, you would think somebody would give you know some sort of um, insight into that. You Someone know. like the governor. Uh, well, yeah. I think it's unfair to punish the businesses. I mean, we still live in a free country. At least I hope we do. Currently, the Great Lakes state remains far short of the 70% rate of vaccination needed to achieve herd immunity, a standard health experts say is required to fully reopen. What is the state doing to track vaccines that are given out of state to Michiganders. We are recognizing that there are some places where perhaps vaccines are being distributed that aren't logged. But if any of your viewers think that perhaps the vaccine that they got out of state hasn't been counted, uh, they should be reaching out to their local Department of Public Health. We certainly encourage anyone who's been vaccinated out of state um, to report the vaccination. As for wedding and graduation parties this summer, Whitmer rejects the notion there's a double standard. What's the science if a banquet hall holds, say, 600 people but can only allow 25 inside? A restaurant holds, say, 100 people but can have 50% capacity? So what we know is that when people congregate with the kind of third surge that we just came through in a place where people are taking off their masks, that it's inherently more... Um, likely to have spread. The greater our vaccination rates go, the quicker we're going to be able to do a lot of these um, events. Will you consider relaxing restrictions on businesses when vaccines are readily available statewide and people are just choosing not to get them in some cases? Well, when we get to 55%, which isn't that far off, uh, we will see some relaxation, right? We will be able to get back into office places. Will it be illegal to dance at a wedding or a graduation party this summer with a mask on when people can go to a Zumba class, which is very similar, and wear a mask and participate there? <laughs> so I know that some of the Republicans in Lansing are pretending that, you know, our actions are limiting dancing. I mean, it's just preposterous. To watch our entire interview with Governor Gretchen Whitmer, including what she's saying about Detroit vaccination rates, just go to our website, WXYZ.com. Simon Shaykett, 7 Action News. All right. Thank you, Simon.